Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about how to fix the Cowboys offensive line because this is this is line one in fixing the Cowboys in general. You gotta fix the offensive line. This is serious. Man, I love this cap. This is one of my favorite caps, dude. It's the Carhartt. I have the throwback lo logo too. Uh, it's cold in Texas. <laughs> Finally, we got we got a bit of winter. But to guys, we're gonna talk about the offensive line. I'm gonna give you different options. Let me know which option you think the Cowboys might end up with. But this is this is how the Cowboys are gonna have to fix this this offensive line. It starts with with this. All right. So let's take a look at where we're at right now okay so take a look at this cowboys ended the season with this offensive line uh set up here tyron smith at left tackle connor williams at left guard tyler Bianish at center zach martin the go to goats at right guard and right tackle lyle collins all right so the main thing that the 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 theme that, that you, we heard all season was continuity, all right? Even in Mike McCarthy's uh, final final press conference or, or one, one of the ones at the end of the season here, um, he talked about availability. He, he's mentioned availability, continuity several times here um, in regards to um, this offensive line. And I, I think this is a, this is a low key hint that they're gonna move on from from a couple of players. All right, a couple of players. So um, who could be departing? Let's take a look at this, all right? I think right now you have departing is probably gonna be Tyron Smith. I think I think he's done here in Dallas, you know? See Will, they're not gonna bring him back, all right? But to elaborate on, on, on Tyron Smith, you know, um, 31, but has like a 40 year old body. You know, he's been in the league since uh, 20, 11 that's jason garrett's very first draft pick for the cowboys great player he'll be in the hall of fame you know um soup i mean really really one of the best players in his prime but uh you know he hasn't been the same after 2015 you know they he's been dealing with uh, injuries throughout his career it's getting worse and worse hasn't been available it, it's it's hard the running joke is he's gonna miss this amount of time that does not help your team, all right? That doesn't help your team. And and forget about we're going to ride him into the wheels fall off. The, the wheels fell off three years ago, all right? So enough of that nonsense thinking <laughs> because you, you can't ride the wheels off. They, they already fell off the wagon. This is not uh, not the answer. They, they're going to have to fix that. And we'll go into, uh, through the... Uh, through my options here. So let's take a look at some of the options here. What are the options in fixing this offensive line? All right. Option one, as you can tell here, this is this is a major shakeup, you know. Uh, Farniak, I think that, uh, I think that Tyler Biadish needs to be upgraded. I, I think that, you know, former fourth round pick, they gave him, you know, he, he got a pretty good amount of snaps his rookie year. Uh, this year, they gave him the whole season I, I, he he has peaked, low ceiling, low low floor. Um, just somebody that that is very upgradable, man. I mean, he would be a, he would be a, an adequate backup, you know. But I I think you can get better there. And for me, Farniak really shined in the preseason. I think a lot of people are forgetting about Matt Farniak. He was a late round pick in in last year's. Uh, you know, draft class, and he he looked really well. He looked really well, even even when he got some some snaps here at the end of the year, opened up the hole for a touchdown. He he's a, uh, I think he's gonna be the guy, man. I, I think they're gonna let him and Bianish battle it out. Farniak wins it. All right. Now in this scenario, you can see Lyle Collins here. I moved him to left guard. He, we all know that he's probably better there. He's better there. All right. Right tackle just just doesn't really suit him that well. You know what I mean. Along with the availability, I think this is this is something that that, that is kind of irking Mike McCarthy. You know what what are we gonna get out of Collins in the off season? Is is gonna come in thirty pounds overweight again? Is is he gonna be reliable? Is he gonna be a short term pup because he's out of shape? The hip. 
that that's a risky i mean you know you just never know what you're gonna get with cons you know what i mean you, you just don't know and that's accountability man all right be a professional at your job okay josh ball all right out of marshall left tackle at, at marshall the mauler of maulers i think if you line up collins a mauler a guard with a mauler left tackle with ball i think you got something there all right and then terrence still excelled he did he did a really good job at right tackle you know what i mean he really did he outplayed lyle collins and you know this the continuity of, of this season was a mess they should they should have kept steel but of course Tyron Smith injury threw a wrench in all of that. You know what I mean? So uh, this is one scenario here that could be possible. But this this is kind of contingent on if Collins is on the team and is he willing to go back to left guard? Which I hope he does. I, I think he plays. I think he plays better there. You know what I mean? And uh, he does well with with defensive tackles and and this sort of thing. Um, but we'll see. Another possibility. Here's another one. All right. Farniak again here at the center. Collins stays at right tackle in this scenario. And Steele is your new left tackle. All right. We've heard that the Cowboys really, really like Terrence Steele. I think that you cannot keep him off the starting lineup for next year. I think he gets a starting role. You know, any, any way you cut it, Terrence Steele is going to start for the Cowboys next season. It's whether it's, whether it's going to be at left tackle or right tackle he's going to be starting somewhere okay so in this scenario cons they stick with him another year here at right tackle and then you got zach you got farniak in the middle because i just think he's going to beat out biatish and that left guard is going to go to a draft pick either your your first or second round pick i've gone over several um offensive linemen make sure you check out my prospects video there I, I go through all of them and and now other people are talking about you know the, these prospects as well so it's good to it's good to see you know the, the the draft talk you know pick up here with some of these guys so check that video out there okay but this is a possibility here all right and if you're a Beatish fan you, you can swap out Beatish for Farniak if you want but i'm i'm, I'm out on Beatish. I, I he's flat line for me the like I said, low ceiling, low floor. Okay, so uh, this is one here that I, I think is, is probably the more likely to happen only because I, I don't see, I think Collins will, will give some pushback on going going to left guard. Okay, so that one there, that, that's an option. And I think this is your, your most likely scenario. Okay, now the other, the other thing that the Cowboys need to fix is the O-line coach. All right, I tweeted this earlier. Mike Munchak from Denver Broncos. He he's kind of available because they got you know they can uh, Vic Fangio at Denver. So that that staff is kind of in limbo right now. Go snatch him. All right, go snatch Mike Munchak. Runs a similar scheme here, zone running scheme. Uh, power, you know he's got these guys uh, rocking and rolling. They they had a pretty good running game. They they're able to to do a good job with with various uh, running backs there in denver you know whether it's lindsey javante williams gordon you know they, they've had you know they've had a uh, a churn there but mike munchak has been solid and these running backs have produced all right so and he, he's a very accountable coach he's gonna hold you accountable all right and i think the way he teaches his old linemen is old school he comes from an old school background him and him and bruce matthews from, from the oilers back in the day they they ran over some people man they ran over some people so and, and he's a legit offensive line coach so get philbin out of here go with it go with this lineup here steal get you a draft pick farniak beats out bianish zach lyle collins here at right tackle now you know the wild card like i said is going to be josh ball you know where did you keep him as a swing and, and give him another year to develop and then maybe maybe in year three maybe in year three or maybe during the season he beats out collins or collins gets hurt and you know ball enters into here and, and you're you know you, you have a good lineup now all right it, it's not going to take a complete revamp like i said 
really you're only looking at that left guard and i think that's where you gotta get better center you get better with farnia left guard get you one of these guys that's in this draft there's gonna be some good ones in here and get you that offensive line coach go get mike munchak guys let me know what you guys think about how to fix the offensive line which of these lineups did you like and let me know what you think all right continue to like subscribe and share i'll see you for the next one peace